Hey, what's up? It's your boy, 24-7 here with 24-7 Fusion Media. You know, we've been getting a lot of George A. Romero news, and y'all that don't know, I'm a huge George A. Romero fan. So, with that comes this. George A. Romero's Martin, black and white, three and a half hour director's cut version found. But when is it going to be restored so we can watch it? That's a good question, and hopefully, there goes Martin, hopefully we'll... Get an answer here soon. A lost copy of George A. Romero's black and white director's cut of Martin has been located by Michael Gornick, director of photography of the feature. The news comes from Roland Gorewood's Facebook page, an alias used by Gornick himself. Okay. Huh. People still use aliases? All right. In his original post, Gornick thanks Kevin Christ, owner and curator of the Living Dead Museum for locating the seldom, if ever seen, black and white. 16 millimeter version of Martin, Gornick also explains how the three reels found by Kreese contains a director's cut with about three and a half hours in length that was always Romero's preferred version. Okay, that's cool to know. Considering that Martin's original theatrical release only ran for 95 minutes and was exhibited in color, the director's cut might offer an entirely new experience to fans of Romero. Shit, 95 minutes, huh? Hour and a half to a three and a half hour movie? Hmm. Hell, I'm down for a long watch as long as it's good. So just the fact that it's three and a half hours won't phase me none. The Facebook post also tells that Martin's lost director's cut will be delivered to producer Richard Rubenstein and Braddock Associates for restoration and distribution. Rubenstein worked with Romero in several of his films, including 1978's Dawn of the Dead and 1980's horror anthology Tales from the Dark Side. Yo, Tales from the Dark Side was awesome. Yeah, I, I mean, we love Dawn of the Dead. Matter of fact, uh, they have this Dawn of the Dead series that's running on sci-fi. So if you guys want to get a little, you know, piece of some new zombie action, check out the Dawn of the Dead series over on the sci-fi channel. And uh, hopefully you guys won't be disappointed. I haven't seen it yet, but I haven't heard anything bad about it yet. But you never know until you go put your eyes on it. So there you have it. So the restoration of the lost cut of Martin is in good hands and shouldn't take long before we're able to watch it ourselves. Oh, that's awesome. Hopefully it'll be out uh, by next summer. Initially released in 1977, Martin follows the titular 17-year-old boy, John Amplis, who's fascinated by blood and convinced he's an 84-year-old vampire. The boy moves to a small town in Pennsylvania where he tries to control his urges. The original film is getting a 4K restoration by Second Sight in late summer, making the finding of the director's cut perfectly timed. Huh. Well, shit, hopefully they'll, uh, they'll do the director's cut in 4K. You never know. Now that it's there, why not make it happen? It's been an excellent year for fans of Romero. Yeah, it has. For the filmmakers previously lost, the amusement park was fully restored and became part of the horror streaming platform Shutter Catalog. Yeah, I remember that. I remember when an article came out about them restoring that. That was uh that was that was earlier this year, yeah. Second, Night of the Animated Dead, an animated remake of 1968's classic, The Night of the Living Dead, is now available on digital Blu-ray and DVD. Yeah, I remember I did a video on that when uh, when that uh, when that came out. So, yeah, that was great news right there. And lastly, an unofficial sequel to Romero's Dead series of films, Night of the Living Dead 2, is bringing back Lori Cadill, Terry Alexander, and Jarlath Conroy, three survivors from Day of the Dead. Yeah, I did a video on that also. So, it's been a good year for Romero fans. We can always enjoy George A. Romero and his spirit lives on through all of his movies. So, it's good to know that Martin, the director's cut has been found, is about to be restored. I wonder if they're going to put it in color or not. To me, it wouldn't make any difference. But, it's good to know that it'll probably be sometime next year, we'll definitely be getting... The director's cut to Martin. So with that, you guys let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Are you guys excited that we're getting some more George A. Romero, some of his original shits? Like I said, you guys let me know what you think about this in the comment section below, please. 
Share, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. It's your boy, 24-7 here with 24-7 Fusion Media, and I'm out. Peace.